welcome back to my youtube channel i miss saying that so much i missed you guys so much and i'm so happy to sit down and film this video for you guys i'm gonna start vlogging this week i was just gonna tell you guys in the vlog like what i've been missing but you know what i believe you guys deserve better just like oh my always said you know give yourself the best look for the best in people all of that i'm gonna give you guys the best you guys deserve way much more than me just saying oh i was missing because i think you guys deserve a sit down video and so in this video you will watch me do my makeup while i chat to you guys about where i've been and just talking to you guys about myself so you can get to know me better and have a better understanding who i am as a person and what i've been up to these past <laughs> couple of months i know it's been a long while but i'm happy to be back with you guys i love you guys so much and if you want to just chit chat with me and be up to date with what's going on then keep on watching let's get ready babies So I'm in my PJ and I'm getting ready to go grab some dinner. If you guys see me looking this way while I'm talking to you guys, it's because I'm actually doing my makeup, like I said, and my mirror is right here. So I'm with you guys still, but it's just that my mirror is here. So anyway, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. I'm so happy to chat with you guys. And I just felt like you guys actually deserved a sit down video. You deserved me explaining what happened, what I've been missing for so long. I've been missing from YouTube a lot of times before well a couple times before especially when i was in undergrad i started youtube and then i went missing for years people would occasionally be like okay when are you gonna start back youtube you were good at that why why did you stop but at no point did i get that <laughs> we need you type of vibe and of course clearly my channel would have grown or my social media presence over the years so it would be different than back then clearly i know that you guys really missed me and i missed you guys too i won't lie however <laughs> I won't lie as well I kind of got used to not filming anymore first I think I need to like get into a backstory so you guys can understand a little bit of where I'm coming from with this whole social media hiatus so I'm just gonna thoroughly explain that to you guys the brows are done now we're gonna start on the base of the face I'm doing a very light beat nothing extra i just want to look presentable as i'm going on the road <laughs> yeah i think i have to give you guys a backstory so that you can understand where i'm coming from i've never done a sit down get to know me video on this channel and that's not because i don't want you guys to get to know me it's because i straight up have very bad anxiety i felt like it was just okay for me to do the channel and you guys make what you want to make of me from my videos but i just never felt like like, I never felt comfortable to come and sell you guys something about myself if that makes sense it's almost like you have a photo and you don't post the photo with a caption I know it sounds vain but it, this is social media so I'm gonna use that example so you guys can really understand what I'm saying the person will now create a caption in their head what they think this photo is about or what they want to say about this photo that was kind of the vibe with just my social media presence I just especially YouTube I never felt the need to be out there and say hey this is who I am I just felt like from posting my vlogs you guys would have a better understanding of who Josh is what she's about what she likes what she does not like just stuff like that things about me that kind of resonates with you to say oh this is kind of identical to who I am you know I rock with this girl or things about me that you're just like that's the ick I I don't really see the hype. I just, I'm a spirit not at that girl here. You know, whatever it was, I just felt like coming on social media and giving you guys the opportunity to make what you must of me, then that was just my vibe. And also, when I started YouTube again, I really had this vision in my head of not telling people who know me about my YouTube. I just wanted it to be a secret. Sounds very contradicting, I know, but like I genuinely wanted to blow up and people who don't know me did not find out about me or find out about my social media presence i'm very sure you guys follow what i'm saying so i wanted to blow up on youtube i wanted to be a youtuber but not having to ask you guys to hey can you follow my youtube hey subscribe to my channel hey i started doing youtube i just felt very awkward and i didn't want people around me to really be in my life like that i know it sounds strange but like for example just being in kingston i don't want people in kingston to like get to know me like that i just wanted it to be stranger to some people i will be making 
making sense to some I just won't and that's okay I was just very shy and I have very bad social anxiety so like I said I just didn't feel the need for people who knew of me to get to know me so much on a personal level to sit and see inside my room you know what I mean like I just didn't want that for myself I just reiterated a million times but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying I have very bad social anxiety and what gets me the most like when I try to be very vocal about this side of me I'm immediately shut down like people tell me that I'm joking I'm lying that's not me like you know you have such a bold personality this is that how can you have social anxiety how can you be shy how can you be an introvert like people just say things nowadays to just say things sake I think that's the vibe I give off when I when I'm vocal about that and that's just because I have a big personality I have a very fun and unique per I think my personality is unique to me <laughs> but you know people in general is just always in categories like the shy girl or the mean girls or the whatever I know I'm in some type of category in you guys head but for me I just feel like I'm a special girl <laughs> and I'm one of a kind when I try to share these people will shut me down immediately it's not true I am not shy I'm not this I'm not that and that really played with me I just try to not like bring it up or try to show that side of myself because I'll not be taken seriously my social anxiety is really real um I don't know how to explain it I'm still researching trying to figure out what's up with me but I feel like I wouldn't even say I have two personalities but there are two sides to me I'm a very bold person I command attention I I'm very confident I walk in a room and I know you're gonna have the people who are rooting for me like yeah that's not that girl that's my girl she, she lights up the room and then you're gonna have a next set of people who's there yeah, her confidence is just a little bit too much i don't really see the, the hype about this girl and then you're gonna have the mm, who is she i want to get to know her like being a confident person and very aware i'm very self-aware and i'm also aware of my surroundings and people i can think in the i can think in the shoe of others i know what my presence means right however as i said i'm just trying to figure it out so bear with me feel as though sometimes living up to that expectation is a little bit hard for me sometimes you know god made all of us to be a certain way and if i was chosen by god to be this type of person who is inspiring to other people imagine stepping in a room not on my best day or or stepping in a room on a day that i'm socially exhausted just imagine the pressure that that puts on me like it's a lot I feel like if I go quiet people get worried people are like are you okay are you having fun is everything okay with you people don't understand that I am not always in the mood to talk and be very social be a social butterfly I'm just not always but my personality will let people believe that I'm like that 24 7 or I'm capping because she's just a breath of fresh air she's always so nice and light um, um yeah, that's, yeah true, that's true but I genuinely feel like it's a lot this analogy is like being a king with a crown on your head it's very heavy it's very heavy to carry on a crown all the time you know what I mean I just hope that this video doesn't rub people the wrong way because I'm just talking and listening to myself because I said I'm very aware it sounds a little cocky but I promise you that's not what this is about I promise you I'm just trying to articulate myself how I know best to try to get you guys to understand where I'm coming from that's just it so bear with me and like I said also I'm just trying to figure out what this is about myself I don't know I don't know how to put it in words so I've never wanted my YouTube or social media presence to be known to locals because I'm international I'm joking that was a joke I just didn't want it to be known that way but I always knew that I had a bigger calling I am nowhere close to where I believe my calling should be or should lead me or should the people it should reach I just believe that I was chosen to inspire not everybody's a leader and that's that you know but pressure will come with being a leader that's that think of me as a content creator as the subject personal development so so personal development I think Kingston schools would do because I went to a high school in Kingston but I also went to high school in country so I think it would be guidance class or guidance counseling class whatever it is personal development and guidance let's call it guidance class they're basically the same thing so I just want you guys to understand what I'm trying to say as a content creator I believe I'm personal development slash guidance class i'm not a need when i say i'm not a need yeah hello i am but hear me out <laughs> this is gonna make sense i'm the subject that you're gonna basically skip in high school so i'm compulsory 
I'm there. You're supposed to take me. However, you skip it. You hang out at the locker or you go down to the bathroom or you go buy food and, and sit at the, the, the field with your friends instead of going to this class, right? Me as a person, you have to be at that stage in your life that you want to accommodate me. I'm not the pranks or the group videos or the, um, what else? The fashion videos, whatever it is. I am the niche of self-development. Love yourself, be confident, live your best life. Looking like me or whatever you look like, very inclusive. You can still be your best self. You can still live your best life. No matter your age, your size, your color. That's what I promote. That's what I stand by. That is what I'm known for. Go out alone, solo dates. Don't put a man or a friend or a family first. Put you first. Like That's my brand. So me in as a subject is personal development. So you don't necessarily see the need to take this class. But this class is a need, right? But you have to be at a stage in, a, in your life where you want to actually say, yo, I want to go sit in that class today and journal about my feelings and hand it to my teacher and my teacher can read it and see what's going on you know what i mean while you have other creators who are like math or english you go to these classes they're they're like the foundation everybody know you need math and english to graduate from high school yeah i want to say creators i'm not even just talking about local creators i'm just talking overall so everybody serve them purpose the purpose i serve is that you have to want that for yourself to tune into my content you have to want that for yourself to connect with me you have to be at that stage where you're like yeah i'm that girl and that's what i want to be and josh is inspiring to me josh motivates me you understand but i don't necessarily will motivate the people who are in finance who will talk about you know financial stuff because that's the wavelength they're on and what I bring or what I'm saying is not necessarily of any need but you know what I'm gonna say any need to them but you know what I'm gonna say self is always important so you have to know when it's time to start eating right start going to the gym start journaling start waking up early start, you know like you have to know when you're at that stage you have to know when it's Sundays are for self-care. Saturdays are for washing your clothes so that Sundays you, you can sit down, eat your dinner and relax. So it's the same. It's That's who I am. And I hope I just made sense. <laughs> However, like I said before, not every person will gravitate towards me. Not every person will gravitate towards the content that I push out, I make. Not every person. Um, I think along the line, I got a little bit, not discouraged, but just, you see the people who don't get it or they're not at that stage. I kind of allowed those people to get in my head and kind of allowed me to overgeneralize when it came on to my true supporters. So like I started to feel like yo everybody is just everybody is being hypocritical everybody is typing mean stuff to me when it was just a handful of people if you get what i'm saying like it caused me to kind of put everybody in one basket or basically the good for suffer for the bad you know i'm here i'm by myself i'm not trouble nobody me <laughs> i'm literally alone i'm alone all the time i'm preaching self-love i'm preaching this and i'm not being fake like literally live your best life i'll preach that 24 7 and then you just had people who are just so mean i don't get a lot of hate comments that's the first thing but like i said i started to feel as though i was doing the same things and people just didn't appreciate it i was being true to myself i was staying in my lane i wasn't just came on the scene and then eventually my brand changed no i wanted to remain true to myself and i just felt like that was not really appreciated and that could have been in my head as well i just felt like i was doing the same things and it was just but i was doing the same content in the same place I just felt like you guys didn't need to see it because it was so repetitive but taking a break allowed me to understand that this is why people subscribe to you in the first place like this is what they love this is the content they signed up for I'm not saying that they don't want to see growth but when there's growth you will show them if you're in the same place for a while whether physically mentally whatever just come and show up as yourself you know and that's the thing I don't I don't want to ever come on the internet and not be who I truly am just for entertainment sake like I was getting tired of the same content saying the same vlogs it's like what else should i say to you guys that's really what started to happen with me to be very honest like i said backstory never wanted people who know of me to know me really to get to know me um because people would now start to want to be my friend or talk to me for the wrong reasons like she was always like this yeah i was always popping but you never see me down but now social media mm, you want to run up now nah. so i just wanted to avoid all of that because me's a real girl me's a real girl i'm a 
run up on nobody just because I really like you yeah I just wanted to avoid all of that to be very honest which I didn't end up avoiding but Jamaica is such a small space I know I have a big personality guys but bear with me I'm not very I'm not the most outgoing person i once i'm comfortable with people yeah i will but like 24 7 being out chilling together that type of stuff like that's genuinely not me it's not as you guys see I, i'm true to myself i hang out alone i do everything most things alone that's genuinely who i am and i just didn't want to lose that side of me or didn't want to lose myself if it makes sense because that's just what brings me joy yeah i just genuinely like i said in a couple videos before that i just don't feel like i'm of this world and that's my truth i don't feel like the, the things that the typical person craves or wants that i want that i want that for myself or that they do i just don't want to do that either i just don't feel like i'm of this world i don't feel like i connect really with people um like i said before i'm a very exclusive person you might say but you're a content creator and that don't really come hand in hand once you come on camera you basically let people know your life let people in that is true but i try to be as private as possible with the things that means a lot to me and i try to just stick to brand like okay love yourself this is what i'm doing come with me i don't try to expose anything outside of that and that's because i am truly a private person and i don't like i don't like my business being out there like that i really don't i just believe that work is work and this is a dream job of mine so work is work and my personal life is my personal life and i've always tried my best i don't know how good i am at that but i've always tried my best to separate the two i've tried several times in the past to do a sit down get to know me video when i start getting the questions and seeing how many personal questions people are asking how just intrusive and invasive people can be like i shy away i just never ever end up sitting down and having a heart to heart with you guys i don't want to go that for stuff or for the bad but that's kind of what happened because some people were getting real deep and i was just like yeah no i'm not gonna do this i just really shy away but i feel like in the near future i'm gonna do a sit down get to know me video when i'm i'm gonna ask you guys questions like on instagram and then i'm gonna answer them here um i've tried to do it before like i said but when i sit down i get major anxiety and i just shy away and i just don't do the video that's not me pretending that's me <laughs> literally being true to myself it's it makes me very uncomfortable people knowing my business people getting in my business anybody who knows me personally knows this about me i yeah exclusive yeah that's me i literally don't want anybody in my business i don't even want myself in my business <laughs> so yeah I, but i do try to open up as much with you guys and share my, my personal self in terms of who i am by core and character i try to show that portray that on my channel and i think i've done a good job i think you guys kind of know me now by personality like the, the ogs i think you guys know know me not because i don't come and say okay this happened to me last night means that i don't love you guys or i am not still showing you guys a side of me you know what i mean because content creating even though it's a space where it's public i hate when people kind of like oh yeah people are gonna dig in your business because of you don't come on the internet and be a content creator or an influencer and so people are gonna people have the right to no they don't just like you have the right for go work and be private your your core account not have no right to search your docket at night time when you're gone or search your cubicle or search your drawers it's accessible once you're left and if you left after 4 30 one day and, and pamela they are work till after seven she can go in your drawer and she can go look on personal information that is not like yeah i work here but that's not for you you get me even look at your client list or something or how far you reach in our project or whatever like not because you're sharing the same workspace with this person means that this person has the right to go and access this information about you that's the same thing you get me just like how you go to work and you tell your co-workers what you want you probably talk to them or you don't talk to them but stop that say you control where you want to tell them are not them and your friend it's the same thing here like i come here and let's say for example i'm doing makeup videos i'm a makeup influencer i'm not for come here and tell you say my dog dead yesterday by the way rest in peace my dog was killed for real my dog at my my home don't tell yourself that you are entitled to know an influencer's business or a content creator's business just because that person is a content creator or influencer so they lose the right to, to their privacy that's not that's not fair that's not nice because you wouldn't want somebody doing that to you that's the next thing too i don't like the the, the sense of entitlement i feel like we should share what we want to share when we want to share and it shouldn't be taken seriously or it shouldn't be 
side eye just this person doesn't want to share that or they're not ready to share that that's that that's my take on that so yeah like i said that's me in a nutshell i will do a sit down video but i really really have bad anxiety and i really really struggle with letting go of my personal business which i don't think i should even have to also i used to go live on tiktok and i stopped because it used to affect me when i come off live like i felt like i overshared and that really affected me because i don't want to ever be that person i don't want to overshare i don't want to talk i don't want to say or do things that i'm not supposed to be doing so i would like stop going live or going live for too long because i just felt like eventually i'm just gonna be an open book out there and i don't like that like mystery is good and i don't want to ever not oversell myself but i don't want to ever like make my personal life my job like or my personal business my job or my personal business the only reason why you guys tune in to know what 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 do you have with this what to this a person blah 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 like wh why did you go here did, did this da, 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 da. who is this da, da. i just don't want to so i realized when i would come off live i would feel so bad feel so pressured i would replay all the things that i said on live in my head and it would just affect me and why would i continue to put myself through that like i just had to stop doing it you know and even if i go on live i feel like i have way more control now so if i go on live i know what i'm saying what to say what not to say and that's that but like like i said when i just started i had this tendency to overshare or maybe my head is oversharing but like i said i take exclusivity so seriously that it really affected me you know and even though i love you guys i mean to come off and then feel so bad and so affected and so down for days that i go to you guys about something that i that i think i should not have it's just not fair it's not fair to me so i'll just share what i want when i want like like, like i've grown to do on my platform i just it just vibes i share what i want what i want in terms of be a better you okay like i said that's what i want my brand to be about encouraging you guys to be the best version of yourselves you know helping you to love yourself put yourself first take care of yourself just stuff like that i don't want it to be about anything else come with me on this journey try doing this too stuff like that travel with me all of that i don't want it to be about the the tea no <laughs> so yeah that's the backstory really of you guys kind of understanding what i wanted my, my social media presence to be like and so on there's an example i have to give for example beyonce makes music i'm not i'm not even like a beyonce girl but i'm just saying and it's about music like she's so good at her job that's what she does and she's not on the internet showcasing something between she and her husband that happened yesterday even though she's a she's a singer she you know and i'm a content creator but like that's what i'm trying to say like if i'm bringing you guys on a trip with me to a country to a certain place like i want it to be about that and telling you that you can do that too showing you that regardless you can live your best life like that's what i want to do i don't want it to be about anything else i really value three things the most in life and that's privacy peace and loyalty that's just me that's what i stand for that's who i am i really value those traits and qualities in people and i want people to respect that about me as well and that's who i am that's just that that's what brings me happiness really in my life so the elephant in the room so you guys would have seen that i graduated from the university of the west indies with a master's degree and thank you guys so much for all the congratulations i posted the photos on instagram and you guys went crazy you guys were so you know happy for me cheering for me like giving the kindest words ever like i truly appreciate it a lot of you guys were shocked that i was in school and some of you guys knew that i was in school it was not something i was very vocal about on my social media platforms and that's because i felt like school is all already such a hard thing and you know just like you guys say oh you're a content creator so if you put someone out, something out there expect that people are gonna critique it we're gonna be critics and we're gonna do what we're supposed to do we're gonna nyam this up and someone wants it to you and that's because you put that on the internet that's the mindset of a lot of people it's not fair to content creators it's because i can like me alone as one person can't change that mindset of the mass i know that things that are dear to me i just shut up about it because i don't want to hear it i don't want you to destroy it i don't want you to get in my head about it because it's already so much for me you know if i care 
about something so much or there's something going on in my life that it's gonna take up so much of my time and whatever i don't want people's opinion to complicate that for me and that was kind of my thing with school so you know people would have their opinion ask questions this is that want help this the that like i didn't i just didn't want to be up i didn't want to get tied up in that because as i said school is already such a hard thing and if you go as far as get your masters hats off to you phd Woo. I hope to be you someday it's not easy it is not easy so imagine having to go through that and then have people saying what they want when they want or just because you told us so we can say what we want and do what we want I just knew that in order for me to avoid that that I have a right to say about whatever I just said you know what let me keep my mouth shut and leave it alone let me do this behind closed doors and try to figure it out a day at a time until it's time to you know share this with you guys it's not that i didn't want to it's just that it was better off being private it's just so i didn't have to deal with the noise i knew what i had to do i knew what i wanted to accomplish where i was going with this and so basically i just tunnel vision and i just understood that hold on <laughs> that's crazy but yeah i basically just tunnel vision and focus on what i needed to which is school and completing my degree it was not easy i took a break from doing my masters and then i continued and then no so yeah that was just better off being kept to myself so it's not that i didn't want to share it with you guys but i'm just giving you guys you know the the main reason why i didn't feel the need to put that on the internet just so that i could deal with that behind closed doors without the noise so please forgive me if you're offended um if you understand thanks for understanding it's just not everything i'm able to share or if i'm gonna share something sometimes it's at a later date i can't do it immediately for obvious reasons some of you guys love me and wish the best for me and want the best for me but you have to remember evil eye even though there's not to evil eye with about school but just like overall certain things me can't just run come telling you because you don't know who is who and you don't know who will do what you don't know who don't like you genuinely you don't know who like you so much that it turn into hate you don't know who never get them away so them have you up. just like good exists and just like i can acknowledge the fact that some of you guys really love me and rock for me me have to also acknowledge the fact that some of you just don't like me some people just don't want the best for you and this brings me to the whole point too of i don't know if you guys would have seen me posted but i'll insert here of how many people bullied me about my bed that little bed back there not knowing that i was in college furthering my education you know i was getting a master's degree and no shade but here's the thing any person who is truly exposed to the realm of um a higher learning would see with them two eyes that this is a dorm you know like that for sure you say you're not even in a league enough for you to tell me about my bed because if you had common sense or you were on my level you would understand or see that clearly this is a dorm i know i do a good job and the dorm looks good but common sense the furniture should show you that hey this is an institution i'm living on a dorm so that even for show you said we're not on the same level for you to be commenting on my bed i understand you probably have a king bed kudos to you but i'm living here for now for whatever reason for said reason I, I was in school i just finished school and very soon i will have to move on with my life so that's that so that even as myself for sure you say you never have no you never have no business that come in by my bed because you're not even really know what, what's tea you never you never reached out them stage in our life and know what is tea to begin with I'm trying to be rude but it's the truth because these people were so awful and so mean at first when i just started it used to affect me but not anymore i only posted it to just show the people who genuinely love me and check for me or you're going through something similar that don't listen to the noise like keep your head straight them cuss me oh your bed is so small for such a fat girl how do you fit on that bed and they bullied me and that's kind of like one of the reasons why i said like sharing things with people on the internet sometimes it's just yeah some of them will go above and beyond to tear you down if they need to for whatever reason it, it just wasn't nice and you have to have a thick skin and i don't know for some reason for some reason why some people don't feel like content creators when you cut them is good as well i don't know we're human beings 
it's almost like or bio is hi i'm an influencer and i don't bleed blood you can say whatever you want to say you can do whatever you want to do with me i'm not a person i'm just here yay but that's not true we're people just like any other person just like you watching this video we are so my journey in school i want to talk to you guys about that a little bit so to be very honest when i came back on the internet recently after this hiatus for months it was so easy for me to just tell you guys that hey i've been missing because of school or you guys just came up with that conclusion like oh this now makes sense da, 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 da. really and truly i was not missing because of school i've been in school since i've been on this internet since you guys since you guys have known me on this internet i've been in school whether it was undergrad or masters i I've been in school believe me I've been in school I have been in school I was always in school get something in this 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 thing right here I was just trying to get something here so trust me let us ride along and make it an excuse for say oh yeah, yeah I had school yeah that's why I was off the internet really and truly no it's not it's a lie I know it's a lie it's easier to say it's easier to get away with but really and truly i know though i had to go hard with my thesis which is a research paper which was so long and so much work if you guys ever want a video on what it's like to do you know your masters or so i can sit down maybe at tiktok something short or just within a vlog i can explain to you if you're thinking to do it but it's a lot of work so i had that to focus on but that was i was missing from the internet from long before i procrastinate a lot with school like i know my abilities so i procrastinate a lot which is not good i wasn't doing schoolwork i was just living my life that's because i genuinely found peace in not being on the internet i know it sounds bad i love you guys so much and i know that you guys love me as well but it became comforting not to share everything it became very comforting not to be on and like i explained that's why i explained what i did in the first part of the video to say hey really and truly i get socially exhausted easily and sometimes i am very shy sometimes i'm not in the mood i know i can speak i can carry myself well and all of that but sometimes i really that's just not my vibe right now like i literally feel drained i literally feel out of it i literally just want to vibe you know and by being drained and i'm gonna say oh yeah because you guys love to talk about everything is depression but no like i literally just want to chill just like live my life chill not talking not taking up the camera for everything i've gotten so used to even not taking up the camera you guys would have no idea like i was just about to start getting ready and i was like yeah josh remember you said that you were gonna sit down and talk to them today so yeah um really and truly that's just an excuse about why i've been missing but I guess at the end it was a part of the reason to just be focused i guess but it wasn't the the reason why i came off social media that's the truth it wasn't i just needed a break and it wasn't even a, i didn't even make a conscious effort to take the break i didn't even get up one day or plan or say all right let's take a break from x y x time to y time off the internet no i didn't it just happened i just stopped posting and i was very happy i was very happy without the critics i was very happy without the pressure of always having to take up a camera film this is that i was i was genuinely happy and you know i had a couple brand deals i would surface on the internet whenever i had work to do you guys could have seen that from my um instagram but outside of that i was not doing anything for my personal content um don't think i was just here sitting down depressed like oh she's not on the internet she's depressed like things not going fair or oh, breach should breathe this is like all the rumors you guys were rumoring to drop off this is trust me i was higher than before <laughs> cloud nine literally and figuratively <laughs> but sometimes you just live your life off the scene and that's that i understand how it feels because sometimes you know i will like a creator or whatever and then they go missing but i've never felt entitled like you need to come back like i miss them but i understand and trust the, the fact that they must be going through something or they just want the break or they're living their life or something is happening or whatever i respect Affect their decision because clearly they must love on the back just equally for fit not just get up and go missing you know like a lot of people dm me and be like oh yeah we miss you like come back I, I need a youtube video even like just posting the school that i graduated people swear up and down like i said that that's the reason why i've been missing because i was in school so now that i'm no longer in school you need to come back we need a youtube video with the, and the, the, the demands and i'm just like this is the same reason why i wasn't posting 
<laughs> like I get it it's my job but sometimes just like you go work Monday to Friday and then you're off on the weekends we don't get that imagine that like you have you have a system to follow you have your days off you get paid vacation sick days entitled leave whatever it is we don't get that we are always working and even like when i tell people i'm working some people don't even believe me some people don't even respect my job some people don't see me as an influencer and this ear edit girl and that is why i had to master up to show you guys how serious i am i'm joking but yeah I'm not joking but yeah joking like i am working and if you say hey i have a video to edit or this people just take it as oh you just having fun and living your life your mother's life is not that serious yes it is it's a lot of work editing filming this is that right now my mom just moved me at talk to me 601 and i need to get dressed i have to edit this to put it out as well so i love you guys and i missed you guys genuinely and i understand that you guys miss me i missed you guys just the same to an extent <laughs> but also understand that sometimes it's okay for people to take a break sometimes it's okay for people to take a breather whether it's intentional or unintentional in my case it's very unintentional it was nothing personal it was no as i said specific event that happened that hey i have to come off the internet no it just happened i just stopped there's several like i tried to explain in this video several things that happened that could have contributed to that like hiatus so don't mean being aware of it you know school my personality with the whole anxiety shy not always wanting to be bothered um living my life in private being happy i told you guys privacy peace all of that means a lot to me loyalty um exclusivity means a lot to me maybe all of these things contributed all of these are reasons people being mean people having expectations bullying you about stuff having their opinion on your life also me being tired of filming the same content probably subconsciously feeling Feeling like you guys probably are bored of it which i got to understand that you guys aren't bored you guys love it this is what you signed up for so i'm back so i'm backing on a skin like ticks yeah i want to ask for it like i said just be understanding sometimes people take a break and it's okay and this whole you graduate now so we need content i don't want to hear it i'll be here i love you guys miss you guys just the same my ultimate goal is to be a youtuber i guess i am a youtuber um i will post don't trust me i don't just sit on here and not wanting to post and just forget about you guys it must be a reason even if it's not a solid reason it's a reason so yeah i'm back all right so i just changed i'm about to head out i'm not running late i've been working on my punctuality so and another day i need to talk to you guys in a video about the crossing of the line and the boundaries and the no so i'll talk about that in a different video the takeaway from all of this i want you guys if you're out there and you love to comment on people's life without knowing what's going on i am just here to tell you to stop doing that because you don't know what somebody else has going on for them and you don't need to complicate it you don't need to be making comments it's not your life yes you're a viewer but that still doesn't give you the right doesn't so just tone it down if the person is asking for advice then fine go ahead but otherwise try to limit the mean things or the bombarding of advice that you give out to, to people on the internet also for my people watching this who are, you're on some type of journey or you're just gonna better yourself in whatever way you know what you have going on for you always remember this know your reality your reality is not identical to someone else's your life is your life you're in control of your life and nobody else is for you you're responsible for your happiness your well-being everything as long as you're of age where you're no longer dependent on parents or whatever you have to do what makes you happy and just tunnel vision if you have to go missing if you have to do what you need to do because this is not just about school for me as i said this is just about me finding inner peace and being at peace and bettering myself in some way i know that mentally i've grown so much and i can't wait, wait to share that side of me with you guys and also inspire you guys to do the same um because i know it's in a positive way so why not as i said know your reality do not compare yourself to others you and other people are not in the same race matter of fact it's not even a race it's your life you're in control do you do what you ought to do so where to next clearly i'm done with school i do it's 50 50 do i plan to use my degree or if i don't plan to use my degree for me personally it's 50 50 there's a possibility i'll always continue to do this i'm an entrepreneur by heart so technically that is using my degree um but will i use my degree to get a system or 95 job a formal job um 
because I still up in the air for now. I don't know. I don't know. But for myself and the goals that I have for myself, I don't see myself, especially in the near future, you know, embarking on such a journey. I see myself working for myself and doing what makes me happy ultimately as it relates to content guys i have not even sat down and brainstormed content for you guys i would be lying um like i said i just really took a break from my personal josh and the endeavors when it comes down to social media i just took a break but i'll be back with the vlogs for now until we transition into another stage of my life of course closing the chapter of school is now opening a new chapter for me and i'll take you guys along with me and share as much as i can when i can with you guys right so yeah and i'm happy to start this journey with you all i'll be back i should be vlogging this week because i have a busy week ahead of me so i'll be vlogging so you can look out for that vlog and of course i'll start to post again on social media you guys can let me know what type of content you'd like to see from me basically i just intend to continue right where i left off <laughs> and yeah be true to myself be true to my content and what i put out there and i hope i can continue to inspire you guys motivate you guys in some way to be your better selves continue to encourage you guys to put yourself first love on yourself do you right now i'm going out to eat by myself so i haven't been out to eat in a long time so yeah yeah i think that's it i'm gonna show you guys my outfit i'm happy to be back with you guys and i wouldn't want to have it any other way i'm gonna show you guys my outfit and then i'm gonna skedaddle so let's do this i'm not so confident about the shoe but the ocd i'm wearing this fitted top some white trousers and some sandals and this bag this gucci diamond bag this is what i'm looking like this is my ocd and that's what i'm looking like so i'll chat with you babies in the next one i love you guys so 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 much how's the ultra again um thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe until next time i love you guys so 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 much take care bye i believe that's it bye <laughs>